one of the UK's largest infrastructure projects, the recently completed Mersey Gateway. Host to 60,000 crossings every day. Presiding over a landscape peppered with industry, this surely is the realm of man. At the feet of 120,000 metres cubed of concrete, a green flank to the man-made gateway. The salt marsh. Stretching for eight kilometres on either side of the Mersey estuary. A green rebel in an urban world. In the shadow of industry, the marsh appears untamed, uninhabited. But there are many who call the marsh home. One of the country's most fragile residents, a male lapwing is drawn to the marsh, his display a sign that he has a mate. His rounded wing gives him the most distinctive flight path of all UK birds as he lunges through the sky. The intensity of his calls and his aerobatic prowess as he dives and loops do not go unnoticed. This world is tough. Together they must find a suitable nest site and for that they look to the marsh. As ground nesting birds, the vegetation here must be just right. Too much and they will not see predators coming. Too little and they risk being exposed. Eggs of any kind would make a tasty treat for scavengers. Left unmanaged, the marsh may not provide for a lapwing family. Here, life could go either way. An unlikely ally. Cows act as housekeepers. By grazing on sites across the marsh, they keep grasses short enough for ground nesting birds like the lapwing to breed. They're absolute characters, these animals. They're, um, every, every individual has their own, own little character. Th those bits of salt marsh that we are grazing, we, we can really see positive impacts and they're doing a really good job of, of, yeah, of doing what we want them to do. <laughs> oh, look at them. I love seeing lapwings, they are absolutely gorgeous birds and you get a lot of exciting birds out here but the lapwing are just beautiful to look at, they are beautiful on the ground, they are beautiful in flight and we're just really excited to have them here. We think we've got some breeding lapwing um, which is absolutely fabulous. Andrea and her team work with the new environmental trust created alongside the bridge. They work across 1600 hectares of the Upper Mersey estuary stretching from Widnes to Warrington, a much larger area than the bridge's own footprint. The team hope that their work will lead to the first ever record of a successful breeding pair of lapwing on the surrounding salt marsh. I love spending time on the marsh. It's the best office in the world. Um, it is absolutely beautiful and peaceful here and to just see the wildlife coming in and out of the estuary is, is an absolute treat and it's so beautiful every single day, rain or sunshine. After three years, it seems the lapwings have successfully nested here for the first time. The marsh is now home to several newcomers. Three tiny chicks can barely be seen. Having never nested here before, adults keep them at a safe distance. 
30 miles away toward Liverpool, Lunt Meadows is a well-established breeding site. Lapping here allow a closer look. Chicks do not wait for mum and dad to bring food. They must forage for their own, eating invertebrates found in wet areas. Parents call to keep them close. The chicks on the marsh are just days old, too small to venture out onto the food-rich estuary. Instead, the sheltering marsh must provide everything they need. Gentle pools are dotted across its surface, and if high spring tides have washed over the marsh, pools should be replenished with water and life. So we're looking here for invertebrates in this pond, which are a really good food source for many birds. It's hard work, this. Um, this here is a good example of like a little water body on the salt marsh. Um, and we're trying to recreate things like this all over the place around the bridge here. Uh, it's like a managed habitat to attract more wildlife to the area. Right, we've got one. Where are you, little fella? There you are. There we go. And look at him. <laughs> Got another one here. And a tiny little fish. Look at that. Come on. Go swim. Go swim. The marsh pools have been restocked with life giving water. Food will be plentiful for the lapwing family. Insects, too, flourish in the wet marshland. Basking in the sun, this dragonfly must not rest for too long. One must avoid becoming lunch. There are others who look to the marsh for food. A top predator, the fox is sniffing out his next meal. Out here, lapwing chicks are vulnerable. Urine signals to other foxes that this is his territory. But this is the lapwing's domain. Lapwings will readily dive bomb any who threaten them. Out here, protective parents are on patrol. With the help of its friends, the marsh has given the lapwing pair everything they need to raise the next generation, with short vegetation for nesting and rich foraging opportunities for hungry new mouths. There seems hope yet for these beautiful birds to thrive here, in the most unlikely of places. We're absolutely happy that the lapwing are nesting here this year. This is an absolutely great success, and that just shows that, that something like this does work and even within three years we see success and this is, this is becoming a, a, a wildlife haven and this is what we want to see for, for now and for the long term.